gas station vlog it is march 7th 2018 uh woke up this morning and apparently it was snow flurrying and i hate that i hate snow um i don't like snow boo and it was you know apparently it was cold enough to snow so that sucks and i didn't get to see it that's fine i'm perfectly fine with sleeping through the snow um because it's not snowing now but it's cold outside i don't know how cold but apparently right around the temperature it required for it to snow which is pretty cold so yeah so it's cold outside and it's cloudy boo so here we are back to work after a day off we got two days off coming up tomorrow and then friday let's see what today has in store hello um so yeah Oh, there's Grizzly. Sweet. I like how I saw that in my camera. And I'm like, oh yeah, I got Grizzly. That's good, because we had I didn't have any the last shift I worked. We were out. Completely out. So, okay, so anyway, back on track. So I was just thinking, um, a few months ago, um, when I was in the trailer, and, uh, I got, um, hospitalized. I was kind of in a bad place. I was in a place where the whole world was against me, and I wasn't seeing things clearly. And I'm, I, I, made a, I made a few angry posts, and, because I was not in a good place I was not in my right mind um, I was hospitalized um, and and that was kinda God's intervention he kinda stepped in and said okay you can't keep doing this I've gotta get you out of this situation um, so he literally sent me to the hospital and I have no memory of driving myself there uh, but um, I came out and I got my you know I, I got myself squared away and situated and now I'm good and happy and life has been brought back to a nice simplicity and so yeah but I was thinking I wonder how many people unfriended me or stopped following my posts because of those angry posts hmm just something I was thinking about Gas station log, supplemental. I was thinking about something, and I'm not sure if it's a law or not that you, um, I know in other states, um, there are usually signs posted, um, they usually suggest that you shut your car off and no smoking around the pumps. However, I don't know if it's a law or if it's a thing, but it apparently isn't a thing in Kentucky because people are constantly pumping their gas with lit cigarettes. And that just to me, that seems highly dangerous. But at the same time, I also have to say that people are doing it. They do it all the time and I don't see anybody blowing up. Nobody's cars are blowing up. So... I'm not really sure what to think, but it still doesn't seem like a very good idea. Because, I mean, a cigarette is considered an open flame, and an open flame around gas and gas fumes doesn't seem like a very good mix. So, yeah. Gas station log supplemental. It is 5 o'clock. I look like Spock. Look. I got a blue shirt on. I got the black turtleneck thing underneath, like, I'm Spock! Yay! Live long and prosper, suckers! And it's still cloudy outside. Boo! Gas station log, supplemental. It is 6, 12 p.m. A little bit ago, I had a buggy roll from somewhere up there right into the middle of the street. I tried calling the store twice, nobody answered. 
So I had to run out there and get it myself. It, cars would have hit it because there isn't a whole lot of room to swerve and it needed to be gotten out of the road, so yeah. Okay, fun, fun. Don't want injuries, buggy related deaths. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good doggy. Woof. Yay, good doggy. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Woof, woof, woof. Gas station log supplemental. 619. And uh, I was just talking to my friend Ben about interesting alternative names to things. Um. Uh, like, for example, down here, they call shopping carts buggies. No idea where that name comes from. I have no idea how the word buggy is even applicable to a thing you put your shopping stuff in. That, by definition, would seem to be a cart. Um, they call them shopping carts everywhere else I've ever been. Out west, up north. Um, not knocking it, I'm just saying it's interesting, and so, sh okay, shopping buggies, buggies, I don't know, um, I'm not sure where the word comes from, it's alright, I can accept that, it's, we're, it's all good, um, but then he started going on to, like, other things, like the fact that, uh, they call them buggies in England, in Great Britain, they call shopping carts buggies, and I'm like, really, well, that's interesting, and then he started to make my brain hurt by telling me that, like, a buggy, we, t we typically think of a buggy as something you push a baby in. Maybe that's why they call them buggies, because you can put your kids in them, push them around the store, I don't know. For example, they call cookies biscuits. They call the, the like, a trunk a boot. Um, I don't know, I've seen enough episodes of Top Gear and Doctor Who that I've kind of got a basic understanding of this already, but, like, it's actually, it's interesting how many southern traditions are actually rooted in British tradition. Uh, chicken biscuits, like a biscuit with chicken in it, that's a British thing, originally, but it's a popular southern thing. Um, it makes me wonder if chicken and waffles, I don't know, I love chicken and waffles. I always heard it was a southern thing, maybe it's a British thing too. Um, I heard that you have to go a little deeper south in Kentucky to get to chicken and waffles. But, um, still, I heard it's a thing. Um, shoot, I used to buy the, the Hungry Man meals, chicken and waffles. They sold those up north. So, you know, I love them. I love me some chicken and waffles. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, sweet tea is a pretty southern thing. Um, it feels like it's rooted in British origin, but I don't know where that would come from. Maybe it's a southern twist on the British tea thing. I don't know. Maybe while the northerners in Massachusetts wanted to destroy tea at the tea party, the south was perfecting sweet tea. I don't know. Mm, I do love me some sweet tea. And let me let me let me clarify. There's three different kinds of tea, just so you know. I discovered this on a trip to Indiana one time. I went to visit my sister and I discovered there's three different kinds of tea. There is unsweetened tea, which is just straight tea. No sweetening at all, no sugar, no sweetener. It's just straight tea and it's bitter and I don't ever like to drink it. Um there is sweet tea, which is predominant in the South, where you put a buttload of sugar in it to sweeten it. Because, and, it, and this differentiates itself from something that is commonly misunderstood for sweet tea in the North. And it's called sweetened tea, which means you add some sugar to unsweetened tea to make it sweetened, meaning it wasn't sweet to begin with, it was sweetened. S sweet was added to the tea um, to make it more sweet. It was sweetened. Um, however, sweet tea is a thing all on its own. 
It doesn't taste like unsweetened tea. It doesn't even taste like sweetened tea because it doesn't, it, it hardly tastes like tea. It's just awesomeness, sugary awesomeness, where you put a crap ton of sugar in your tea, voila, sweet tea. And in my opinion, it stands in a category all on its own. You've got unsweetened or sweetened, but neither of them are sweet tea. Gas station log. It's seven o'clock. It's dark outside. Just a friendly reminder, the time changes on March 11th. That's just a few days from now. Woo! Party up in here! This has been your public service announcement. The more you know. Gas station log. Supplemental. It's 7.53. <gasps> it's time for me to do my smoky smokes! Yay, buddies! Doggy, 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 doggy. It's 7.55, and it's about time to go. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.